We are talking a lot about API security these days because we kind of live in an API driven world, no matter where you look at everything, we're just plugging into the API. So talk about the API security also. So definitely we live in a very, you know, connected world and more and more things are happening, right? If you think about just sort of, you know, what's happening, uh, again, going back to the digitization, the connected world, and, you know, there's so many examples, whether in healthcare, you have this whole sort of, you know, digitization of, you know, what do you do with uh, aging in place or connecting patients with, you know, remote services, et cetera, or, you know, financial services, or even, you know, travel as that's starting to pick up uh, post pandemic. Uh, we, we genuinely believe that, you know, with this kind of attack, surface in a new threat landscape, you know, the attackers and the, the bad guys are finding so many different ways, right? Uh, one example I will share is, you know, we're working with a customer is a sort of conglomerate, but they have a, a retail business and uh, they have a loyalty program, right? So customers would have loyalty points and uh, the attackers, you know, utilized uh, some API abuse logic to go, you know, kind of penetrate that. And then they were you know, utilizing those uh, uh, loyalty points to do fraud, you know, fraud in hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? So there's like so many different motivations that we are seeing, you know, uh, across the board. And, we, have, you know, there have been companies that have had to publicly acknowledge that they've had breaches or kind of data extraction or other challenges. And through the forensics, they found that, you know, the loopholes were part of the APIs and the infrastructure that they had. Uh, surrounding that.